Healer's Program Body Tech. This is where we kind of lay over into some of the physical aspects of haircutting. Number one on the body tech list is we've got to learn how to use the chair. The chair spins, spin the chair. The chair goes up and down, raise and lower the chair. We see this all the time. I had a stylist on my team in my shop. Her name was Patty. And Patty would do this. Patty would have a trimmer and a finishing comb and a client in her chair, and she'd be trimming up a guy's neckline. She'd look like this. <laughs> Now I'm the boss. Every once in a while I gotta come up front to the front desk, I gotta take out a pile of money, I gotta take it from the front to the back, and I gotta put it in the safe. So I got a pile of money here, and Patty's over here, and Patty's all hunched up, scrunched up, bunched up like this, cutting hair. And as I walk by with the pile of money, I will say to Patty, pump up the chair, pump up the chair. I'll mumble under my breath, pump up the chair. And you'll hear Patty's client will say to Patty, what did he say? <laughs> and you'll hear Patty will say to the client, Oh, just ignore him. He says that all the time. No. Pump up the chair. You can't cut what you can't see. I was a high cutter when I cut hair in the shop full time. Had a lot more shoulders because I cut at eye level. Pump up the chair. Barber chairs traditionally rise higher than Kaz chairs, but you got to protect your back. There's a guy that cuts hair in our community, played college basketball. He's like 7'1". He's got a traditional barber chair, and if you go in his shop, his barber chair is mounted on a 14-inch wooden platform. For me to get a haircut, I have to climb into his chair. But he cuts hair standing straight up. At seven feet tall, he's destined to have back issues before he's 25. Yeah. But he's cutting hair healthy in the shop. But his, you sit in his chair, man, you can see everything. <laughs> but he's cutting hair like this, with his back straight and his shoulders square in a comfortable position. You've got to start pumping up these chairs. You've got to get the chair up so that we can protect our back. I have a question. Um, I have the opposite problem. My chairs don't go low enough. Don't go low enough? Yeah, so okay. when I'm low drawing, like long hairs, like I have severe bursitis and tendonitis and my doctors told me to quit hair completely. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay. Okay, absolutely, yeah. Same thing though. If the chair's gotta get low enough, you gotta have clients scoot down. If a client scoots to the front edge of the chair, they end up sitting a little bit lower. If they're scoot their tush forward and they're back a little bit, that'll get a client's head down a little bit. But yeah, raise and lower the chair. Turn the chair. The chair spins for a reason. If you look on my YouTube channel, I've got a lot of videos on this. Ideally, you cut hair with your station and your mirror if you're right-handed with your right hip facing your station, you don't work behind the chair standing here, wrapping clients in cords as you work around them. You stand here, you cut here, your mirror becomes a cutting tool, and you stand oriented to the counter. When it's time to cut hair over here, far too many of us go for a walk over here. Put miles on the chair, stand right here, and turn the chair. Reorient the client to your cutting position.